One local organization continues to find new ways to give back. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bissell tells us how the Warren Family Mission is expanding their services and fighting a battle that many Ohioans are struggling with. It's a new year, but the Warren Family Mission's goal remains the same, help those in need. After a generous donation of an old post office building, the mission had plans to put it to good use. We had this goal and this vision to you know, turn this into our uh, Warren Family Mission food distribution warehouse. And uh, but at the time we just didn't have the money to get the roof. The roof was leaking and hindering those plans. Thanks to another big donation, the roof is fixed and the old post office is now a new food pantry where the mission is expanding their services to the community. Currently you can get one bag of groceries a month. All you need is a valid ID um, to utilize our services. Um, and we're also going to move our um, they can get two bags a month now just because, you know, we, we see what's taking place with our community. What's taking place? A hunger problem. More than 1.5 million people struggle with hunger in Ohio. Of that, over 500,000 are children. Being able to provide more food for the community only helps combat the issue. It's definitely going to, you know, give them a little bit of some relief as far as uh, more groceries, more options and uh, definitely make sure that there's hungry children out there that maybe are just innocent, don't have a way of you know, getting food themselves. Not only is the new pantry bigger, 4,200 square feet. It's handicap accessible and provides more options for those who need assistance. We're looking into a choice pantry, which would give uh, the people who come to utilize our services more of an option. So if they, they will be allotted a point system, and based on the number of dependents in the home, they'll be able to select what their family's going to eat. The pantry is located at 1312 West Market Street. In Warren, Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.